Server address is smtp.gmail.com. You should be using SSL, which will set the port number to 465. Hey there, and welcome to the Mendix How To's. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create and send beautifully styled HTML emails. We're going to be using the MX model reflection along with the email module with templates to accomplish this. No time to waste, let's get building. In order for this to work, we are going to make use of some marketplace modules. You will have to download MX model reflection along with the email module with templates as well as the encryption module into your app. The encryption module is a dependency for the others. Make sure to set the encryption key, which is an application constant in the encryption module, to a 16 character string. You will also need to have an SMTP email server set up. If you don't have one available, it's possible to use any Gmail account for testing purposes, but I don't recommend using this as a production mail server. In order for the admin to reach the required pages so that they may configure the emails, you will need to add the overview for MX model reflection and the SMTP email module with templates to your app. I have added the snippets provided in the modules to a single page. When the app is running, the admin must log in and navigate to the model reflection page. They simply need to select the modules they want data from and click the click to refresh button at the top. Now it's time to configure your mail server settings. I will be using Gmail for this example. Click the email with templates tab and go to your configuration tab. The settings for a SMTP server setting from Gmail are server address is smtp.gmail.com. You should be using SSL, which will set the port number to 465. SSL check server identity can be used, but I'm not in this example. Your username field should be your full Gmail email address and the password is the corresponding password for this. You can also set a from address and a from display name, but these aren't required. After you have entered all the required details, you can test your config by clicking the test button in the bottom of the page. This opens a pop-up which enables you to send a test email in order to check if it's working. If you got anything wrong, you should see a message like this. If you got it right, you should see a message like this. Click Save Configuration to save this. Now we have to set up the templates. Navigate back to the Templates tab. On the Templates tab, you can either create a new template or edit an existing one. You need to provide a template name which is unique. Set a from address and from display name if you want. You can also set a CC or BCC line, but this isn't required. Your subject line is the subject which should appear in the email. You then have a choice between plain text and HTML. To use only plain text, you can click the use the plain text body only over here. If you deselect it, you get the option to copy from the HTML text. Simply fill in your email body and make sure any data you desire in your email is added with the use of placeholders. To add a placeholder, select the object type which you want to hold the data you want. In my scenario, it's email invite. You can then add or edit your placeholders. In this example, I'm using a personal message placeholder. You can tell it's the personal message because that is the name given in token. You can also set a description for this. For type, you can choose between attribute or reference. In my example, I'm using attributes. You then select the object type you want, which is email invite. Click select to close the window. The rest of the options are optional. You don't need to do them, but you may. Click save to close the pop-up again and go back to your email body. To include a placeholder in your text, simply use the placeholder token. Click save to close this window. Now that everything is configured, we can actually create a microflow to create and send these emails. The email module with templates comes with an example included called create and send email. 
you will find it excluded in the examples folder for that module. In order to prevent any breaking changes, I duplicated this and moved it to my main module, native mobile. The example microflow uses order and customer data as parameters. Mine uses email info, so I replaced it with that. I also opted to retrieve the email template inside of the microflow instead of passing it as a parameter. In order to do this, I performed an XPath retrieve to find the first template, which has the template name equal to invites. You don't need to change anything else in this microflow, but I do recommend checking your replace email template tokens Java action to make sure it's using the correct data object as a parameter. Now you can call this microflow wherever you want. Once your email is set up, you should be able to change and configure your templates at runtime, so no need to redeploy after every change. Now that it's all set up and configured, all that's left to do is to spend the rest of your time designing your HTML emails. So what are you waiting for? Go make them.